It's Hurricane Week here at the Weather Channel. I'm Matt Sampson here with meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, you've been out in the field for the Weather Channel for many years, covering a lot of tropical storms and hurricanes. We've got a pretty good gust right now here in Baton Rouge. We're kind of protected here, aren't you? winds right now are 32 miles an hour. What's changed since you started out in the field with us? Yeah, when I first started going out in the field, we barely had cell phones. I didn't have a cell phone. Uh, producer had a cell phone, but many times I'd go out and I'd have to pull over to pay phones or wait till I got to the satellite truck to communicate with the weather channel. Up around. All right, Mike, let's talk about some of your great stand-ups here, starting in with Norida here in Virginia Beach. Yeah, getting whacked here. I was here two days, two nights in November. And it was cold, it was about 50 degrees, hanging onto the rail, we got sandblasted. I've got the rail here for safety. Each night I had to go into the hotel and take a garden hose and hose myself off on, on my right side because I was just covered in a complete layer of sand which had turned into mud. Now we're going to take a look at Virginia Beach. This is you and Brian Williams here. Was this a nightly news hit? Uh, no, this was actually live on MSNBC. I didn't even know we were on camera. He calls me over, let's get a wind measurement. Well, we're, we're kind of protected here, aren't you? The oh! oh. And, and then a gust came up. Now we're between buildings, so we're getting the wind channeled through those buildings. 60, 70 miles an hour, a gust came through and blew me out of Brian's arms. And then I uh, kind of bounced down the street and a Today Show producer, actually, Sean, jumped on the back of my legs, keeping me from bouncing into a, a big electrical box. So I got... Uh, were you hurt? Now, a few a little bumps and bruises. It was more of being kind of scared because for a couple of seconds after I flew out of the Brian's arms, I had no control over where I was going. You get that stinging sand. All right, now let's take a look at Hurricane Irene, 2011. Here you are on the beach. How, long, how many hours were you out there? I was actually out there for 13 hours, 11 hours right there in the sand and the surf and the winds gusting to 70, sustained at 50. And What's it like when that, when that sand is hitting your face for 50 minutes? I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. You get kind of sandblasted. And the, the toughest part was walking uh, against the wind because I'd walk up the beach and then I'd have to return to my position. So now those shoes that you're wearing out there, I mean, your, your feet must be soaking wet. Yeah, at this point, it really doesn't matter. At least it's, you know, it's September, it's fairly warm, the water's warm. Uh, those uh, shoes are basically what you wear around the pool. They're just like $10 shoes. Most of the time, I am dry. Now, occasionally, some water will get up here around my neck and get down into my shirt, but most of the time, I'm dry. That L.L. Bean gear is uh, excellent. It does keep you dry, and it keeps you warm.